Yes, yes, y'all. To the beat, y'all. What's cracking? It's your boy. It's your boy. Once again. I'm going to turn this light on. Right now, I got a nappy fro right now. I got a nice little Opus X cigar. You know, I'm about 29 years old right now. Everybody already know my age. We in Detroit, about to play the Pistons tomorrow. You know, I've been blessed. I've been blessed to be able to play ball, do my thing, be in Detroit, travel. Went to the casino yesterday, had a little fun. You know what I mean? Just enjoying myself. A couple of days after, uh, you know, Obama, you know, got a, got an office. So, uh, you know, I always knew that was going to happen one day, man. We're going to cut to the chase. This blog right here, you know, uh, shout out to Hip Hop Game. This blog right here is, um, you know, it's about the it's about the president. You know, he did his thing. You know what I mean? Uh, it was tough. He had to battle with Mr. McCain or Senator Senator McCain or whatever. Uh, he had to battle with Palin and things like that. It was a good battle, man. It reminded me of uh, if you want to put it into um like sports terms or whatever. It reminded me of one of them old Nick in Miami uh, at the Garden. You know, tight fights, you know, where it was on and cracking, you know. And it was going to come down to the last second. But Obama was like, he was like Jordan. He had, he had like a nice team. He had like Pippen, Tony Kukos type uh, type supporters around him. His supporting cast was was off the chains. You know what I mean? So definitely historic. I ain't going to front. Somebody asked me, yo, Ron, why um, you're not excited about the president? I said, my dude, yo, I always knew it was going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, I always felt that, you know, uh, somebody, you know, a different race, you know, uh, could be president. Just because uh, that's how the world is. I think God created everybody equal and everybody have the same brain. You know, it depends how much you're going to utilize, you know, your skills, your talents, your gift that God gave you and see how far you can take it. You know, some people going to play ball. Some people want to swim. You know, some people want to, um, you know, get their law degrees and pursue a, a career and in politics, and you know, it's not just black, white, or Asian, or whatever, who are, who is capable, you know, of uh, of doing one specific thing. You know, even basketball game changed. Who would ever thought, you know, uh, one of the most dominant centers would be from Asia? Who would ever thought one of the best point guards in the league would be from Canada? You know, at a time two time MVP. You know, who would ever thought one of the best rappers would be white? You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, uh, I think. Uh, it just goes to show and it proves that everybody's one. You know, everybody's created equal and uh, no longer will. I think, well, it's been like this for a while where no one person, no one race is dominant at whatever they, uh, uh, example, because I can't get the words out, example, basketball in the hood, you know, we go hard, but it's other people that's not from the hood, that's, that grew up probably with money, that, that played ball, and they made it. So it's not just, uh, I didn't have nothing as a kid, you know, uh, so I played ball, and this is why I made it. You got people who had stuff as a kid, and they making it, you know, the same way we making it. So, you know, I think it's just a balance right now. You know, uh, like I said, I always thought it would be a president. I always thought it would be a black president. You know, uh, when it first happened, you know, this whole process and everything. Like, I was a fan of Hillary because, you know, I like Bill. You know what I mean? And Bill showed a lot of, you know, me being hood and all that, you know, I'm keeping it always, always keeping hood. You know, when I, when you found out Bill was messing with the bud and all that stuff, I was young, man. I thought that was kind of cool. You know, he got the apartment in, um, or whatever, the building in Harlem, you know, and he held it down. You know, for people, he was really for for everybody, and not just uh, not just the rich. So, I was a big fan of the Clintons. So, I uh, just because you know, uh, off the top, I wanted Hillary to win, and then Obama came through, and I'm like, yo, who? I never heard of Duke. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, sweat, yo, dude is kind of ill. I wanted. I thought at first, I thought he was a uh, no disrespect. I thought he was Uncle Tom or something like that. You know what I mean? Uncle Tom, not disrespect, but I think, you know, you don't have to change to be or to make it. You know what I mean? Like, 
I think a lot of people sometimes think just in order to make it, you know, in conservative America, that you got to talk different, you got to dress different. And I, I believe you could be yourself, you know what I mean? You know, even a guy like, for instance, like Russell Simmons, you don't see him wearing like a shirt and tie every day, but he getting the job done, whatever he's doing, he getting it done. And Obama, he's in a different situation. But I connected with him because I didn't think, I didn't think he was trying to change. I didn't think that he was trying to act conservative. He was trying too hard. To me, he, he he's a hood dude, very intelligent though, you know what I mean? But very intelligent and, and has a really big, a big plan uh, and, and ideas on how to bring people together. And I'm more for, um, I'm more for, I'm more for bringing people together than, you know, uh, money issues. I'm more for the future of the children more than politics like that. And that's how I connected with Sun Sun, you know, Obama, you know, he the big Thun Thun, you know what I mean? Thun Thun come from the hood. Thun Thun is the language that, you know, Maul D. Prodigy made up and things like that. So, I mean, you know, take it how you want it, but, you know, Obama, that's my thun, you know what I mean? But um, other than that, you know, man, I just think things is going things going to work out. I know everybody in the recession right now, you know, I, I guess if you got a little paper, you're not really feeling it. But I'm hoping that, you know, things get better for people who are struggling. You know, I, right now, if you lose the job, it's going to be hard to find another one. So hopefully, you know, Sun Sun could, uh, hopefully he could, uh, you know, make things uh, a little bit better. You know what I mean? For everybody. You know, I think I'm even going to get a haircut. You know, my, my joint a little rusty right now. I'm looking homeless right now. It's all good. You know what I mean? But, um, eh, maybe I just keep it rough. But uh, I feel like, man, I don't even want to thug it out no more, man. I ain't going to front. I'm trying to, I was trying to just be real calm. And when, when, when he was elected president, I'm like, I wasn't too excited because I always knew what was going to happen, you know, not because it was nothing to be proud about or be happy about. I just knew we was going to have a black president one day because there's so many intelligent black people in the world. You know what I mean? I, it could be an uh, Asian president. It could be a Puerto Rican president. There's so many intelligent people in the world, you know, made the best uh, person win, you know. But I'm to a point now, like, I love to do music and things like that, like, I don't even know if I want to rap hard no more. You know what I mean? Like, Obama just just winning just the history. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like lost for words like everybody else is right now. You know what I mean? Um, uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wish I could have been at the, you know what I mean, at the inauguration too. I wish they could let, you know, me and my people perform at the at the all the all the hood balls or neighborhood balls and the youth balls. You know what I mean? That have been. I know we're not as big as you know all the people, all the all the good artists that perform. But that have been hot to have Ron Artest performing at the at the neighborhood ball. I would have called it the hood ball. You know what I mean? The ghetto ball. You know what I mean? That would have been hot. You know what I mean? The ghetto ball. Or it'd be everybody from the ghetto, ha ha ha, black hoodies, you know what I mean? But um, that would have been fun. But uh, I was gonna say something, but as I speak, yo, as I speak about, you know, everything that's popping off now with the president and everything, I mean, I, I get, I get lost, I get lost in my thoughts, man. It's just so crazy, you know what I mean? Um, I get lost in my thoughts. I definitely wanted to say one more thing, but like as I said. Your boy lost in his thoughts right now, man. Uh, wow. 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 President Obama, Biden, he... I like him. He gangster, you know what I mean? He keep it gangster. Gangster don't mean you're a gangster, Scarface, you know, uh, you ready for war type. Gangster just mean you real, you know what I mean? Don't get scared when I say you gangster, you real. You know, gangster just mean, you know, he's real. You know, I, li I like him. I like him as a VP. 
he holding it down. Um, wow. Yo, man. Shout out. Shout out to OBZ, man. Word up. Hold it down, my thun thun. You know what I mean? You did your thing, thing. And um, I'm going to holler back, yo. Word up.